Good day, Lords and Ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers, a beginner's guide with me, Cornish Knight. Now, to answer some questions quickly. First off, um, this is the map seed 5C2837, if people are interested in playing it. I'm playing on the basically the beginner's difficulty, which is still really hard, um, with basically the beginner's difficulty. Um, uh, combat, which means you get slightly less enemies, though I am still doing it on the normal level of economy and obviously with the Iron Man settings on. Now, this does affect gameplay quite a bit, um, so that's just something to take into effect if you're watching my videos. Um, also, the developers have released a, um, a video, well, uh, another blog stating the new weapons that are coming a lot more pole arms and two handed weapon variants, a lot more blunt. There's going to be a, a lot more two handed blunt weapons, like two handed flails and the like, which look really cool, and two handed ma um, maces and two handed morning stars. There's going to be an intermediary, like, like long sword that's going to bridge the gap between a great sword and some of the other two handed weapon variants. So, a lot of really nice, and um, a halibut. Like a really lovely halibut. Some really nice stuff. So, we had a mission, quickly had a mission to go down here. If we look at our stats, money we're doing okay, food we're doing okay, tools and medicine we're not doing great. We've got a 10 man party, but one of our party is healing, um, which is not fantastic, but we can, we can fix that. Um, so we're doing an okay place. If we wanted to, we could heal. I'll still have to get the standard message to get someone up to friendly. I thought we was get someone to friendly. Oh, well, we have got someone to friendly. Maybe it hasn't um, kicked in yet. If it ha if it's a bug though, we may just have to cancel it. We have got this objective. We know that down here. So let's try and get this done quickly. Hopefully, they're not horrific monsters, and they're just the normal ones. Oh uh, no, okay, it's one of these ones. This is one of the evolved ones, one of the full evolved ones, it's really nasty. So, there's no real high ground. Let's see what he does. We notice five of them. These things do a lot of damage. So let's try and weaken them a bit. Well, we missed. That's really bad. Okay. We have to figure out where this big guy is going to go. He's probably going to try and flank. So, that's not great for us. Let's try hitting him a couple of times. We missed. These guys are going to get the advantage on us, so we better start gearing up. Sealed walls up, probably because he's going to try and charge us straight away, which is not what we want. So, okay, that's not great. The problem with this is that he's probably going to try and flank, and that big guy's going to be a pain. Yeah, he's going to take a lot to go down. Right. Just sealed wall like crazy men. Just everybody sealed wall. Let's see what they do. Right. That's ah, not good. He's got a flank. Okay. Let's get him back. Excellent. Right. Put another arrow into him. That's ah, not great. Hold off. Hold off. See what this guy does. Okay. We need to kill him. 
as soon as possible because he's going to be the biggest threat. Right, so... That's not great. We need to focus fire as well. Kill him. The problem is that guy's going to probably go straight for that, so we need to kill this guy as soon as possible. I'd rather take two shots. Got him. The reason we wanted him dead was because he would probably go to the head and feed and evolve into one of these guys, which we cannot allow. Morale is dropping, which means his his pen, his penalties for hitting us go up. That's not great. Okay, move him up there so we can go into combat next turn. Oh no. Right. So... Him and him and next. And him. Do I want to take a risk? Actually, I've got an idea. Kill him. Oh, got him in the kidney. Didn't work. Okay, get there. Oh, no. Okay, we need to kill this guy. This is going to go bad. If we cut, this is going to hurt. Oh, it swallowed him whole. Okay. We need to kill him because this guy has swallowed him whole. We won't get him back until he dies. So shoot. Shoot the fat so. See, like, he's back. His health is, health is weak and his morale is low. But that's one of, the, re one of the, the risks of fighting the huge ones is that they can swallow units. Run them down. Get here. I want these guys just to die. Pierce his hand. He's got a pierced... What's that? Crossed fingers and pierced hand, which is good. As I said, the different weapons do different injury types. So the pierced hand would be from the crossbow, the crossed fingers would be from the blunt weapon. This guy's got pierced arm and pierced leg, which would be from the spear. And these will do different stat effects. So you want to try and think how you want to impose stat effects in people. Blunt damage tends to be the most debilitating, while piercing damage tends to be more common in my experience. But we killed him. Like his his thing, he's just covered in slime. But we killed him. So he's taking a little bit of damage. Be healed by tomorrow. Got more teeth. The Natsura's dead bodies look more like rock than beast and it lays flat and unmoving. Flies are already occupying its height's mouth, showing life on fro froth remains of uh, showing life on the frothy remains of death. You order rogue to take the head for Holdmore of Cordon World to be expecting proof. Right, let's get back to town. We got paid, excellence, like successful hunts. Raiders. This is probably the raider's job, but drunken woman throws herself at you, she practically drools lecherous horrors into your ear and be you beat her off a stick. One look of to your side, yanking the went away. Be gone, whore. How many times must I tell you? The lady saunders sort off, of clamping from one man to another like an animal between three branches. Your rescuer offers you a hand. I'm Sor I'm Sorel, a man of some important lineard of Crimworld has been looking for you. Please follow me and I'll bring you to him. Seltor, thank you for coming. He looks at a latch with a few quick snaps when he parts the crate a few times. This here cargo has to be delivered to Fetzenwald. A man named Unod, the merchant, is waiting for it. I do not believe the task will be easy as the cargo is rather precious to certain people who have got lengths to acquire it, which is why I'm turning to your men expertise. Are you interested in going doing this for me? How many crimes are we talking about? Paid more, fair enough. Okay, accept payment. Deliver the cargo. Okay, accept. You have to be careful of this contract. I'm taking it knowing the risks, but you can get everything from like undead horrors to everything else in between. It's not a straightforward assignment. 
Um, nothing here is cheap. We need to get ammunition as well at some point because we're running low. Uh, teeth. These teeth aren't worth much. You can make necklaces out of some of the ones that you find, which is not bad. Uh, just got him. And our party, he's still roughed up. Okay. Right. Where are we going? Fitchenwald. All the way up there, is it okay? That's not too bad as long as we're quick about it. Deciding that Cromwald is a good place to invest your effects, you decide to offer the protection of the company and take up any work suitable for your talents. You act like a gentleman in dealings with the locals, encourage the men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There are of course some gripes at first. Wiseman was sorely disappointed to give up brawling with the farmers, especially with the brotherhood of Colonel spending so much time in Cromwald. But you convinced the men that they have a friendly base of operations. It's important to line up work as it meant getting better prices on the market and more people willing to join your motley band. It's also much more less tiring not having to dodge the militia every turn. You even enlist the men to do some small task exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat who wandered off and dragged him right home. Lickon of rock brags quickly outvaved by Baba. I went to the market for the old spinster, split her wood for the winter, and put, even put her, put out her washing. But I draw the line at rescuing tr tr treed cats. The company gained renown. Everybody's content. We got renown, so I'll show you what renown does. This is our renown here. We are recognised. Your renown and your reputation of professional mercenary company and affects how reliable and comp competent people judge you to be. The higher your renown, the higher paid and more difficult contracts people will entrust you with. Renown increases on successful completions, ambitions and contracts, and winning battles and decreases on failing to do so. Which isn't bad. Let's go. We've got, to, we've got a, a ways to go. We have to keep an eye out, especially since there's peasants on the road. Because the peasants will attract bandits. Right. We don't want to fight in the dark. So let's just keep an eye out. We'll cross the river here. We'll go for the masses here. You can skip the coast normally and they give you a relatively quick passage. Let's get up to the cap that's built this stronghold. Uh, let's see if they have any... a uh, little bit of food. It's not too bad. Um, ammunition is... everywhere! Everywhere has expensive ammunition. It's annoying. Tools aren't cheap either. Anything... any armors worth picking up? That's not... Uh, that's a bit more expensive than I like. Than I like. used to replace his one to be honest I might get it I might get it it's not in great condition but I can sell I can sell like that and that hatchet and one of the morning stars I mean the morning stars aren't bad but their fatigue is very heavy and it's not useful to me this early on so, you have to be careful because your guys will get fatigued from wearing armor. Is, is he fixed yet? He's not even healed yet. It's because we're moving about so much. Healing herbs as well. I need to get medicine, but medicine is expensive. Right. I was trying to, what I am looking for, I'm going to look for somewhere, folks, that will provide us with healing herbs. Amber. Fish. Because if we can find something that provides us with healing herbs, like that will have like a herb gathering place, it will be cheaper. They're normally found in marshy areas. 
But I can't see any. Do they have one? No. Herbs may just be ex really expensive on this map, which would be a pain. Now this comes a tricky one, because we need to get through this this woodland, and it's always full of bandits. So, yep. Yeah, see a few brigand fogs, some brigand raiders. They're probably good for the caravan before attacking us, though, which is good. So let's get up to here. Hopefully we can get there before nightfall. It falls to you, the commander, to see the company succeed, not just on the battlefield, but also on the fame and riches. And so you spend the evening pondering about the bigger plan for the Brotherhood of Kurno. If you're tent while your men talk and laugh around the fire, you're never going to become a legend simply by chasing brigands and doing small-time contracts. We need a battle standard be recognized from afar that's always an expensive one having one made is costly so it'd be 2,000 crowns I, I now so I know the souls of our feet are itchy for the open road we need to spread the word the company let's pay visit to every settlement far and wide we shall get the company strength to a dozen men it will make us a formidable force once again and allow us to take on more profitable work we can do that one to a dozen men that's basically 12 people so that's something I wanted to do House even here is expensive, but that's because they've got the the issue with the um, brand that's driving the prices up. I'm not happy with that. I'm not paying nearly double the price for something. Anybody here worth taking? Yeah, but they're super expensive. Right. Hopefully here will be cheaper. They're in the woods. Just keep an eye out. Get there, we'll get some payment. I'll hire a couple more people and we'll get a dozen men. During camp, you take a good look at you take a good look, long look at your man at the man and gaze the flickers from one to another and bend back again. All the while shaking your head, Baba is holding his hand, a rather large lump lump cresting at the hairline. You look at Runkopandan, the younger, then to you, both men shrug. You ask Runkopandan, the young, what happened. He explains, thought I saw something that wasn't there. Incredulous Baba throws his hand out. I said, hey, it's me, and you clocked me anyway. You throw out his own hand. Runkopandan, the younger, defends himself. Hey, it's me. Ain't words beholden to you. Any man can say those words. I reckon any man ill would, would say them words before falling with a sword. I bet it would. It appears Bronco Panda, the youngest boy, said has done something accident. It's dissatisfied, and he's got a pierced hand, which sucks. That sucks because he's actually a really powerful. He's not. I could put him on the back line and put this guy up front for the moment. Those are mercenaries. Mercenaries, this is the thing. Mercenaries, if you do brigand work and they send mercenaries after you, mercenaries are one of the most dangerous um, non-faction um, non -faction units that you can fight in the game. They tend to be very high level and very powerful and will have a lot of very dangerous things to throw at you. Right. Arnold Merchant's waiting for you at the end of the town. He hurriedly takes the cargo off your hand. He grabs your fingers, dance along the chest, carrying cargo. He's um, he turns around box in order to one of the men and he steps forward and hands you a set of the crowns. Judging from that, that's going to be a beast extermination, which always sucks. But the good side is cheap ammunition. So we get that up. Man, their stuff is expensive here, but I need... This is like cheapest tools I've seen. Eh, it's not too bad. So let's get some tools. Medicine, yeah. Medicine is just expensive. There's no getting around it. That's not so bad if we can get it fixed up. Um, that's not too bad either if we can get that fixed, fixed up. I'd rather grab that. If I'm going to grab anything, I'll grab that to prepare it. Who deserves it? That 
That's gonna really eat into his fatigue, though. His fatigue is bad as well. Probably give it to him and get his stuff fixed up. Um, yeah. How are we looking money wise? Not great. Is there anybody here worth picking up? Ooh, um, Wildman are nice. Wildman are really good, actually. Historian are not fantastic. But I'd grab the wild man. Gerbs the barbarian. For some, the wild is a refuge. Maybe it was spurn lover, maybe just war. But Gerbs has spent the last decade far from the rest of the mankind. Years as a recluse haven't made the man forget what a few coins can get you. The question is, why did he come back? That's not, he's not a bad one to get for that price. So let's hire him. So determined athletic he's wild once he gets like experience but see this is what I meant by double group you get 25% more damage which is horrifically terrifying down to this he's actually a fairly competent range unit um just thinking how we could use him do we have a guy that had yeah that take that off him To be honest, we could go... Go that. Go do that. Um, have him in the back. We could get one more bloke and then we'd be set. Have him like that and him, then have him flank. Him without a melee weapon worries me. Give him that, just in case he gets attacked so we can switch and defend himself because I can't afford to lose him. What are these contracts? Well, those... Right, let's see. Um, they're alright, and Stuart, wait. If yourself sort of fellow, I said, of course you are. Edmund Stuart's talked about you, he said. He stops drinking, blah, blah, blah. Let's just, let's try to skip through this. Um, I wonder if how I got Veli's brigands, I mean, they must have snuck through the window. Let's talk pay. Uh, isn't worth my time. What's this other one? Me the side of the road. He's dressed in peasant's garb, yet he's guarded by two are well armed men. Good ties, Captain. You take your leave from all that killing and dying. I figured your, your eyes and eyebrow response. I figured you'd jump at the occasion, no matter what. It was a lie. I need you to take a certain package to Rudrick, the councilman, a fellow residing in Merding. Miss Karg was undoubtedly gathered some ill attended eyes. I took money. Be paid more for this. Okay, accept the contract. Cargo in the south. That's not a bad amount of cash. Right. I didn't like the fact that we were being paid, so we could go down there. It's not too bad. So let's sprint off back down this way. The tools we have. Ammunition is good. With the ammunition filled up. Food is going to be the thing that's going to hit us now because we're going to get 12 men. That's when it really hits you is the, um, the price of keeping food supplies up. Plus it's going to be 131 crowns a day. Right, so we need to get down to medding as quickly as possible. Which is going to be on the road, which is not fantastic. His pierced hand is not great because he's one of my better units. Gonna put him there. I'd like to have a spearman here, to be honest. Uh, 
want to get another pole arm user as well, if he can help it. Or maybe another archer. We might be able to sneak past him. Yeah, we got past him. That was quick. That was really lucky. Did not want to fight those guys in the dark. I would have run if I had been given the chance. Nine days pay, but we still need to buy food. If we can, we'll hold out until we can get to a smaller settlement. It'll be cheaper. Brigands, a few bandit thugs, some bandit raiders. Okay, they're going to go on the road. And they're being chased by the company. Actually, this is a really good option. We could help these guys out and hopefully get some nice juicy money in the process. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in and help these guys. If we're quick about it, we may get to get some quick kills off. Which would be a, a nice little payday. There's no guarantee he will. He may just... Actually, he is coming straight for us. Excellent. Okay. Get up there on that hillock. You'll gang up on this guy and kill him. Get it there and support. One of the mercenaries just gone down. I just saw him go down on the counter up here. You can see the blood as well. Which way is he going to go? He's got to go there. Okay. No, that's going to suit into him. So we go here. Missed. That's not great. There's the mercenary stabbing that guy in the face. Give him a good whack in the face. Cracked his skull wide open. See the guy with the dagger? No, it's not. But let's try and break his morale, shall we? I was hoping to try and get his armor. You can see the last two men up here trying to get away. Ah, yeah, we didn't get his gear, unfortunately. That is a shame. I was hoping that we were going to be able to. But still, experience is experience. You can see the, the, just how brutal these guys are. He missed. Uh, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. Okay. They've got two guys left. One guy left. And we'll kill him. We got a little bit, some money which is nice, some repair tools, some ammunition, nothing to like sniff at per se, but still. See, I would recommend that you always help if there's something like this going on, you can always jump in, because um, you can use these guys at like free cannon fodder and they normally are skilled enough to deal with them. Have you taken your journey went well? You spare him details and quite about your pay back. Sell sword from through Fernand. Get this man what he deserves. 320 crowns. That's not bad. We've got a contract. Food here is super cheap, so we've got to grab that. Cloth here is not too bad. I can sell it for a relatively pretty penny. Um That That pole arm is nice, but at that price it's not worth it. I'll get a pitchfork, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to grab this cloth. Let's see if there's anybody cheap we can hire. Miller. Miller's used to physical labour, but the health will be compromised. 
Plus, I don't really have a row for him. I don't have any gear that I could give him that would make him useful. I don't want to be forced to take a contract just because I have to. Farm hand, maybe. I'll grab a farm hand. Let's see if he's any good. Uh, he's all right. Um, I mean, it's not great, to be honest. I want to give him. Flails aren't fantastic. I mean, I could pick him up. He's got an okay stat. I mean, if I was really tempted to, I would go, I suppose, uh, well, I, I can sell one of these to counter the cost. That money's not good, though. Six days' money is not something I want, and I don't want to take risky contracts. And give him another pitchfork. But we have completed our objective, which is good, but though it's hit our money relatively hard, we do have now ten people. I think what I'll do quickly before the end of the session is... I'll run this cloth up to here. Just quickly. Having finally gathered the coin equipment, you managed to assemble a full company of a complement of 12 able-bodied warriors. When next you walk down Maiden's Main Street, the men breaking into full throaty marching song. A few of the town folks mutter under their breaths about dirty merits and taking up the town, but others walk alongside and sat worse to your stand tall brothers people can see that this is a real mercenary company now and not a handful of wandering vagabonds baba declares we trading strength and now our numbers have gone up so will our prices it appears he is right you notice one particular fat nobleman sizing up your company as if you were ready to task task in mind the brotherhood of kerno are now forced to be reckoned with once the men have settled into a celebratory drink perhaps you should take another stroll through the town to see if there are more lucrative contracts to be available everybody's happy which is good. We're going to quickly rush up north just to um, sell this cloth. Food is going to be the next thing though we have to keep an eye on. Right. Yeah, that's a good price we got it for. We can sell that for a good price. So we got a bit of money back which will keep us afloat. Um, everything here is super expensive. So nothing going to buy for a while at any rate. Even the bread here is expensive. Um, keep those on hand for in case we fight the undead. Actually, given that fact... Um, I get these repaired along with that shield just in case we do come into contact with the undead. But that's probably, yeah, that's all time we've got for today, folks. Um, let's just get out of this menu quickly. Yep, we'll get out of the menu to check our tools. Yeah, I just want to get everything fixed in case we have to fight undead. We need work. Probably go down here again. Um, but anyway, if you've liked, please press the like button. If you were subscribe, please press the subscription button. And, I, and if you leave a comment in the comment section, I will get that back to you and add you to the roster as long as you request it of me in the name category. Um, our company is not doing too badly. Uh, we're going to have to buy medical herbs soon, which is going to really cost us. Um, I suppose the next goal you'll want to take is to visit all the settlements, um, which would take us a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be too bad. Our reputation is reliable, which isn't too bad either. I'm a very friendly with some places, which is good. 
but that's going to be all for next time, folks. I've been Connor Knight, and I shall see you all next time in the next episode of Battle Brothers, A Beginner's Guide. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>